Right. So, hello everyone. Good evening and welcome back to our bi-weekly Chaos Disability Inclusion and Accessibility Working Group meeting. And I'm actually excited to have all of you here. Hamza, Hamoni, I mean, you guys are like our visitors most of the time, but we're happy to have you here. Um, I'll be sharing the link to the minutes on the uh, on the chat piece. I've already written down our names, so we don't stress. I don't stress you, but you can just go through what we have for now. If you have something else you want us to add, you can also add it in. Um. Oh, we have someone new here. Hi, McClay. Hi, hi, hi. Oh my God, new member. Exciting. New member, new member. Hello. Before we get on to what we have on the minutes, please do a little introduction. We're happy to have you here. You can go ahead and put down your name in the minutes, but do a little introduction for us first. Hi, good evening, everyone. So my name is Blessing. I'm a product designer. Um, what else? I, I am a product designer. I joined the design team, but I'm looking to like learn some other skills that I can assist with in the chaos group. That's why I joined. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Thank you. And you know, the, the beautiful thing is in chaos, disability, accessibility, and inclusion group, we are working together with all working groups, including the design group. So of course, there will be things to do in our working group. So we're happy to have you here. So a little introduction of what we do. We are a group that in charge of inclus inclusion in chaos. So we're looking to make chaos community and chaos software and chaos open source contributions in general accessible and inclusive to all users, especially users that have disability. And in that sense, we are also inviting users with disabilities to join our community and also contribute to open source. Exciting. So that's what we do. We do it in so many ways through contribution, through accessibility auditing. We're also doing it through events. We have hosted one event here in Lagos and we have collaborated actively with another one that happened in Kano that we are going to hear about in the short while. So that's basically a summary of what we do. I don't know if um the group will want to like say their name so you get to know them since you're here and you might be joining us in subsequent meetings. So, um, hi, Hamoni, you can start, then Hamza, then the rest. Just do a little introduction for her so she knows who she's in the meeting with. Okay, so my client already knows me. I met her through uh, the Doc Scavenger event, virtual event workshop, workshop, virtual, whatever, right? And my name is Hamoni. Elendo, um, the technical writer's lead, and I do a lot of other stuff in chaos, and I'm here today as a visitor to do good works. Amazing, amazing. Happy to have you. Hi. Well, I don't know if Winifred can speak. Winifred, you can use the chat. She can read it if you cannot speak right now. Hamza, hi, you can continue oh. and Good evening, blessing. We are so blessed as uh, inclusive, inclusive disability and inclusion to have you as a blessing. So thank you. So my name is Hamza. So I base in Kano, Nigeria. I'm a developer advocate at Open Source Community Africa. And then in chaos, I'm a contributor. I contributed to uh, a post project before, and then now I focus in disability and inclusion community because I feel. Uh, that's what my community needs as an advocate, as a, as an open source advocate in my community. Thank you. We are so happy to have you here. Nice, nice. Hi, you guys. You can go next. Hi, Blessing. I don't know if you can hear me, but I... <laughs> Hi, I think you're breaking up again. Plain, 
I do a lot of things like chaos, affectability, product, my. Wow, and we completely lost your connection, Lida. You, um, sorry, the international did not allow you to speak. You can continue with the chat. You can type in. I'm sure she will read it. I know you cannot bless it. She will type in the chat, you know, just because of time. Hi, um, Brian is here. Uh, hi, Brian. Please introduce yourself. We have a new member. And um, she's not just new to the Disability Inclusion Working Group. She's also new to Chaos Community. She joined in during um harmonies the during the scavenger edit, yeah workshop that harmony hosted so and we are trying she's trying to get to know us so please do a little introduction oh and welcome welcome to the vt <laughs> hi Brian. i'm sorry to hook you just like that you're just coming in you don't know what's going on but yeah that's what's going on so do a little introduction um get to know blessing blessing is a product designer by the way and she's part of the Chaos Design Working Group. And she wants to learn more skills. And then she wants to also contribute here with us as Chaos Disability Inclusion and Accessibility Working Group. So, yeah, we have the mic, Brian. Hey, everyone. Hope you're doing great. And hope you can hear me clearly. I know it's been a minute. I know I've left you folks for a very long time. But I'm slowly catching up with everything. Um, I am Brian Kai. Uh, I, together with Toria, we help uh, work around with the Disability Inclusion Working Group at Chaos Africa. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty much about me. As we move on with the meetings, probably you'll get to know more about me and some of the other things I do. But I also wanted to pass in my apologies. For the past meetings, I've not been in uh, the meetings. And this was also leading the organizing of the first Nairobi. And if you know the weight that comes with organizing the first, I don't know if you also have the first Lagos and you see like the how big the event is and leading everything. So it's when I'm actually like taking some time to rest because it happened last this Saturday. So I'm so sorry for having been away, but now I'm back uh, in the next few days and weeks you should see like more activity from me and more feedback from some of the things i had missed from the team so thank you so much everyone and welcome to the working group uh blessing i'm also seeing my cleave is here i think i, I only know how many hamza winnie yiga but welcome blessing uh, we are happy to have you here back to you toria oh yeah Happy to have you back, Brian. Welcome back. We are hoping to see a more of you. Um, it's not like you went for so long anyway, but yeah, welcome back. <laughs> um, Brian has actually partly introduced me, so I am co-leading the working group with Brian. Yeah, so we are helping out in pushing this movement together. So while we have come to know each other, let's get right into what we have for today's agenda number one like i said we are going to be hearing more of hamza's voice and this is the time so chaos africa was opportune to collaborate with oscar kano for the events that they had um this saturday that just went right and it was a success so hamza is going to tell us all about it hamza you have the floor All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, once again. I'm Hamza. So uh, we collaborate with Oscar Kano to bring open source education among people living with disability as part of diversity, equity, and inclusion that we adopted as chaos. So I feel like uh, there is need for that in my community because we have people living with disability that they are literate. But all they can do is read, advise, using some accessibility tools. Uh, so I feel like, and there's some of them. <laughs> Mic check one, two. Okay. I'm interrupted. Did somebody 
You want to say something or what? Oh, no, no, no. I coughed. I'm sorry. I don't. Okay, okay. So, so, uh, so I reached out to them and then we start organizing. We go back and forth, back and forth. And then, of course, communicating with people living with disabilities, you have to bear with them because of their kind of nature. So I bear with them in mind because they are their kind of nature and where they comprehend information. But uh, what I really like about them, they were very positive and they were agile despite their disabilities. And then when it comes to time, they were functional. Before the event, we, we, we had a meeting twice with them and then they arrived like 30 minutes earlier. So, and then the same thing, even on the video, they arrived like, some of them arrived like 40 minutes before the actual time. So I was really, really, really impressed. They don't know something that we would call African time. So they don't usually uh, do that. So, and then one thing that I really, really, that really got my attention among them was like, they were very open and, and curious to learn something new. They have open-minded. So, and then some of the, as I, as I introduced open source to them and what they, what it's all about and then some of them pick interest and then I met someone that also enter a hackathon that she wants to build an app for people living with disabilities. It basically just text to speech and speech to text about them. So her application was accepted and then she is looking for contributors that they will collaborate and build up for that hackathon so which promised to look around among the uh, uh, Oscar Kano members for people, for experienced developers who can help us uh, do that as well. So the complete blog post will be released, God willing, before the next Chaos Africa meeting. So just bear with me as I'm compiling a lot of things and the video and, and the video highlight of the event as well. So I already shared the photo album of what uh, that includes some pictures and uh, videos of what really happened on that day for someone to real you can share it, you, you can share with the other members of the group if you feel like and then the blog post will be shared as well thank you amazing amazing thank you so so much for leading this event exciting um i have a question a few questions anyway was there a way to get the feedback from the attendees if no can we create one because we'd love them to join not just I'm waiting to learn about <clears throat> contributing to open source, but even join chaos um community to actually contribute to open source as well. So is there a feedback system? Was there like a survey you used to get their feedback on how the event went, maybe their contact information or how to get back to them, right? That's one. Then two, um, was the event compiling of all the disabilities, were there specific disability that you that was targeted for the event, or was it all of them, including um, motor, hearing, and visual disability, and even cognitive disability, were they all in attendance or just a particular group? So you can take the first one first. Oh, okay, so thank you. Let me start with the second one. So uh, when you look at the picture, it will tell everything because the attendees was diverse. It encompasses with almost every part of disability group, ranging from visual impediment, hearing impediment, and then we also have to, just, there is just something that really speaks my mind. Yeah, and then on that day, uh, we realized that some people who are coming to the event have hearing impediment. So we have to look for a uh, sign language interpreter. Uh, ASAP. So, and then we have people on wheelchairs, and then we have people uh, suffering with albinism. Basically, all kind of disability that I can that I can think of, I see their faces there. So, the the first question was, uh, you can come again with the first question. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So the first question is, is, was there a way to gather feedback from the event? Was there like a survey form 
or a recording or something that got the feedback of individuals who had a disability that attended the event, how they felt about the event, and also their contact information or how to reach out to them after that event. Because we really do need to follow up. We want them to join our community to actually actively contribute to open source in chaos. Yeah, during the session, during the session that I in my in my slide that I prepared for that particular event, there is a particular section that I level it as how I can join uh communities, open source communities as a person living with disabilities. So and then I throw a question that have you ha have you ever had a word slack before? Uh, the positive was very, very negative because out of the 25 attendees, only one person uh, raised hand that knows, that heard about this lag, heard about this lag and knows how to, how to use lag. How about Discord? That's the first time to interact with Discord. Why I asked them those two questions was because Open Source Community Africa used Discord server as their communication, as their official communication channel. While Chaos community use Slack as their official communication channel. So, and then we end up opening a WhatsApp group that we share information about the group. That way we will share all the pictures and then we will come up with subsequent uh, uh, information as well. So for their contact information, I can see I have it all with me for all the people that attended and then, uh, they are very welcoming. I said I can. They assure me that any moment, any time that I feel like I want to reach out to them regarding the source, they are they they are welcome. I think of it on how can I onboard them to selection, but this is the only so because some of them have visual impediment and they heavily rely on these uh, assistive technology to help them navigate their mobile phones. Uh, okay. that's my, my, they are very, very familiar with WhatsApp, despite their, their visual issues. Amazing, amazing. I, I love the feedback. I love that there are ways to get back to them, to reach out to them. I don't know if any other person has questions for Hamza. I, I had I had a question, but you covered most of it. But what I wanted to ask is, were we able to get materials of the event? Were we able to get uh, data like you mentioned? And I think he has answered that. So materials in the sense that um, pictures, video, stuff like that, things to use to, to be able to publicize a session like this, again, in the north, right? To be able to preach the gospel, actually. And also, are there other means that it's possible to communicate with them, knowing fully well that they don't have details about Slack or they don't know much about the mediums that we know? Are there other means aside WhatsApp group? Do we need to go the traditional way, stuff like that? Yeah, so um, we can charge, we can reach them via email or uh, other via email. That would be very okay because they check their emails more frequently. So um, the, and then one thing that I have been thinking of maybe in the near future we can future some of them those that are very those are those that are very very committed in our pod, in your podcast uh, episodes. Maybe as time goes on, I will try as much as I can to to invite one of them or two. Great. Um, yeah, he said there are actually pictures. There are pictures and videos. I will send out after this meeting, I'll share it to the official Slack so that we can all check it out. Thank you so much again, Hamza. Actually, we were planning to have a workshop, myself and Brian, but Ruth said it suggested that it was going to be too just it was too soon to plan. But with this information we've gathered now, we'll have more attendees for the workshop. We can probably teach them how to use. We can start from the very scratch. And I feel like even the workshop that um, Harmony organized as well has a few details as well, right? So we can even start from the very scratch, like how to use Slack and how to use Discord, okay? There's nothing too 
so simple to learn. As long as we get them to join the chaos community and the Osna community. Thank you so, so much for that update. Okay, just one, just one thing take away that close with it is like uh, I really am I I went there feeling too much energy thinking that I have a lot to share with them and I end up learning something new a lot from those people which was really really amazing and it was really emotional to be honest I don't know that uh, uh, I don't know much about sign language in Japanese but uh, it's really but I came to realize that if you need an inclusive community, you have to carry many people around uh, as diverse as you can. So I was very impressed with the way they communicate with their sign language interpreter because, <coughs> sorry, to make sure that they are following, I throw, <coughs> sorry, I ask questions specifically to those people that are having uh, hearing impediments, and then the answer reflecting that they reflect that they are they are following what was yeah. amazing, amazing. That's actually amazing. And do, you know, the similar thing we had the same experience as well in Lagos. It it has this emotional feel to it, right? I'm just yeah. happy that we are all getting to realize that it is exciting to include people with disabilities. Yeah. That when you experience mm -hmm. it firsthand, you you know why they should be part of every. Every um work in tech, right? Um, one of one of the one of the questions that I like one of them was very 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 curious to start contributing to open source. He was he asked me like if I want to start open source contribution now, how can I do that? So I already prepared that I all in my slide I already cover something like that. So I told him like for example. The person that asked me that question has a visual impediment, and then I told him that okay, you can you can take for example any particular software that you are using in your in your smartphone to assist you navigate your mobile phone. You can write a document, detailed document on how people living with visual impediment can use that particular software for their activity activities. And the response from this uh, person. From partial expression was really amazing. So I hope they will, I will reach out to him very soon to see how far has he done with that. I really love it. Amazing. Great. Yeah. Amazing. I feel like you have a lot more to say because of how truly the experience was. I'm excited to hear about it as well. But because of time, we'll have to like go to the next. <laughs> topic on our agenda, but I'll be your DM like really after this meeting, I'll be your DM because we have more to talk about to follow up on these people. Thank you so so much for co organizing for organizing this and for collaborating with us on this. The second thing on our agenda is October first update. Um, from me, I haven't gotten an update yet from Project Enable. I guess they've been busy. So I haven't gotten an update yet from them, but for other issues like um, the glossary that uh, Harmony has worked on, I think that one has already been worked on. And some other issues too on our repository have also been worked on, I think so, yes. Then um, I don't know if any other person has feedback for uh, work so far on October 5th. Does anybody have anything to ask it? Oh, hi, Tosan. <laughs> oh, my God, you missed the conversation with Hamza. I feel like you're going to have to reach out to Hamza. Um, let me just give you a rundown and a summary very quickly. Hamza collaborated. Hamza's community, Oscar Kano, collaborated with uh, Chaos to organize an event for people with disabilities in Kano. Right, and he has talked about his experience, it was, it was amazing, and he was able to get um the contact of these people, right? So we can gather feedback from him, right? We can gather feedback from him and work on the next steps of how to reach out to these people and actually get them to join open source like in real time. So you can reach out to him to look at the feedback and know how to work with him. 
Yeah. I will. Do. So. I will drop it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I can reach out to you on Slack. And then the second, the third one is the updates on the publication. Winifred, I hope you can talk now. Are you home yet? Please. We would love you to talk now. Yes, I'm home. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So, Winifred is part of the writers for this publication. Winifred, myself, I think, it is an opportunity. I think Yiga, I don't know if Yiga got to her part, but really, really prefer myself, Yiga. Yiga, I'll be your DM shortly. <laughs> and we are almost done, so we'll be pushing it to um the pushing it to the um technical writing group. Tamani, hello, we'll be your DM soon as well. Finally, give the bye to Winifred to talk about our work so far. Hi, Winifred. Hi. Yeah. The blog post. Yeah, I think I've been able to write um the section you gave me. The section you gave me, which is the um the part about the speakers, like just drop a brief um summary of each of their talks. Uh for all the ones I could find, for all the slides I could find, I think I have uh done my own form of justice to it. I can't find the mood slides and your slides with that to so, yeah. yeah. I think I everyone, have everyone is done. I do not have a slide. Okay now so you just drop your I'll leave a small section for you and then you can wow. fill the gap. Called Ambu. Yeah. Express no yourself. <laughs> no wala, no wala. But you can reach out. Let me to give you some creative freedom. Please, yeah. Please reach out to me for her own um keynote session. She did not use the slide either. So let her just write. Yeah, she didn't use slide either. About. Yeah, so let her just help you write a summary of what she talked about. Hopefully, she still remembers every detail because she has been speaking in a lot of events. So she might. She has. She has Yeah, she's at that one this week. She be at one yeah. this week. So. I think so. She's keynoting one at. I don't know. I think Germany. Right. So um that's it for the publication. But I have done my own. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Thank you very much. Hopefully before the end of the month, we'll we'll do the magic. I don't know what magic we want to do, but hopefully before the end of this month, we'll publish we'll publicize Abi. Abi will publish, sorry, we'll publish the publication. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so the final thing we have on our agenda is the switch of faces. I was thinking, um, I was thinking, uh, although she will be in the session today, but she is not, right? She's not, but that's fine. Somebody's hand is up. Hi, Harmony. Is it a mistake? I, yeah. I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to say that for the publication you guys are talking about, we we really don't have to capture everything. It could just be like a phase or a touch point that was somebody's attention. Because I don't think anybody will be able to remember everything. Maybe just a quote yeah. thing, just or something. Exactly. So, yeah, please, um, don't forget to add that we baked cake. That's a very important part. Please, we also celebrated our one year anniversary. I mean, sorry, happy year anniversary. Was it two years? I cannot remember. But Sha yeah, and we celebrated our anniversary too at the event. It's an important point. That is for Harmony, are we? For you. Uh, you can just okay. add it to your part. Yeah, I think we have pictures as well. We can just add the collage or something. So that's all we have. Aluchi is not here. I don't know if the Twitter session is still going to hold, but hopefully it does. We have just three more days. I don't know how that magic is going to happen. But either way, we've actually done amazing for October 1st. For a community that is relatively new, we participated and that's all that matters. And it's not at October 1st that it ends. It's to follow up subsequently. And we are, it's looking amazing. In, it, the future is looking bright. We are getting more people with disabilities to join open source contribution and that's what that matters so i think that's all for me does anybody have any other thing to add before we call it a night this evening for today's meeting 
Yeah, so I have something to add. I'm giving out an invite to everybody that we're having the Doc Scavenger 14 Day Springs closing party on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Nigerian time. It's going to be nice to have you guys your faces there. And it's also going to be nice to hear from you guys' mouth how we did and also get feedbacks as well as things that we want us to improve on and things that we want to be doing as well. So how many more questions are more questions for you? Would there be jello fries? We don't share jello fries online, but we can tell you the command prompt on GitHub to bold jello fries. <laughs> yeah, we have. We will basically be giving out some incentives to participants and we'll, we'll add you in our prayers so that you have jello fries in your city. All right. I, I, think, I, I guess I'll take whatever I have. So thank you everyone for joining me today's meeting. Uh, this is the end of the meeting. Uh, hoping to see you guys in the next two weeks. Um, blessed. Hoping to see more of you. Hope you enjoy today's meeting. This is how fun we are. We have fun in this meeting. I will hope to um see more of you in the social care meetings. I will look forward to seeing the work you do in chaos. Enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody. Bye. Yeah. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Ida. Bye, Tori. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye.